57 of all sports, all the time. If you are watching this on YouTube, you will see that it is just myself and Luke Paglia today because it's Parker's Parker has turn. ditched us. Yeah, it's his turn to go on vacation. So, uh, are, do you, are you on vacation next week? Because that would be a good, no, be a funny I, progression. I, I wish I was on vacation next okay. week, but I was actually on vacation a couple weeks ago, as you remember, I wasn't there. Mm. And then we did like one or two episodes all together, and then Owen was gone, and then Parker is gone now. So we've all taken our turn. And but then I'll be on vacation later this I summer. I was going to say, I have a vacation in August as well. I have one in August so as well. We'll see how that one. I really hope Parker so, has to do one on his own. But I would watch that. That would be so funny. That would funny. be amazing. Parker's just sitting there in his room in front of a camera. Hey, guys. Today, just me. we are that would be so podcast. <laughs> and there'll be Hey, no Parker, guys. what's what's the number of um, Carson Wentz? Well, I don't know, Parker. Hmm. Figure it out. 11? That is correct. Great job, Parker. <laughs> he... He can ask Siri the answers all he wants, and nobody's there to call him on it. Exactly. <laughs> Parker, if you're... Well, wait, we should use this as a test to see if Parker is loyal and watches us Parker, do the podcast. If you watch, ask, yeah. text me when you watch this. Text both of us. Text, yeah, text just, in the group Literally chat. just say, and literally I just say, watched the podcast. I watched, yeah. Just, or listen to. Or say Golden Goose. That works too. Sure. That... That well, that'll prove your yeah. extra loyalty right there. Mm. If you continue to watch after we said to text us, but yeah, if Parker watches, the, if Parker does a podcast by himself, it would be just like two hours because it would just he would go off on every rabbit trail, and it would be amazing. I would listen there'd to all no, two hours. Of it. <laughs> there'd be nothing, no one to ring him back in. I, yeah, or rain him back. Rain him. In. Rain him. I I would not complain, but. It would. Man, I feel like after two hours, it'd get tedious. <laughs> oh, two hours of hearing. Two hours would be the limit. About to listen to. But. Although, I wonder like how like off track it would get. Like, cause he gets off track enough as it is. Oh, it would get. But like, it would. It would be. Where his would it time, lead to? It would be his time to express anything that, that we don't want him. <laughs> that we would get. There'd be no one there to stop yeah, him, and just, it would just be. Parker overload. Speaking of getting off, we're here saying how off topic Parker would get. <laughs> As we literally did off. the intro and then fell off a cliff. Is what happened. <laughs> that there. is very true. Uh, episode fifty-seven is what you're currently listening slash watching to. Listening to slash watching. Um, there you go. And Heinz catch up. Uh, if you don't know what Heinz is, I don't think you've ever had catch up. Condiments, but um, Mustard, they have ketchup, relish. They have Probably mayonnaise. A marketing they do. They also have a disgusting looking mayonnaise barbecue sauce mix that I recently saw. Mayo Q? It looks awful. What about I, I, may, I love it's so good. It looks disgusting. It's so good. What about Mayo Chap? Have you ever seen Mayo Chap? No. That also is sounds amazing. Like mayo mixed with anything. I don't know if they have a mayo sounds or not. bad. Are you trying to like play the Parker role and like throw us? I well, no, I guess I brought up the mayo and mustard they have, but Although yeah, I don't I've never tried it that. Also sounds disgusting. That does sound disgusting. But yeah. Mayo, mayo chuck and mayo cues sounds good. Anyway, they they have a uh, marketing strategy or marketing ploy, which says that they have fifty seven varieties, um, and so they offered Patrick Mahomes free ketchup for life if at, at, ever at any point in his career he throws. 57 touchdowns in one season and um he's doing when it this season luke found this information which first of all the story by itself very interesting uh it wouldn't surprise me if mahomes did that at some point at the rate he's going he would do it he's gonna do it this year but i whoa bold prediction play that recording i'm gonna Kyle save picks. i'm gonna save this you will save this recording post it on instagram this will be saved it in a special there. file of predictions this that season. we play back to either make fun of somebody if there, or wait, congratulate wait, them. Wait, this season, if there is one, and if there is not a season this year, it'll be next season. The most, the most, the next The next season that season. Patrick Mahomes plays, yes. the next full yes. season Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes plays, plays, he yes. will throw 57 touchdowns. Luke Paglia said that. Yes, I did. Speaking of Heinz 57, uh, the <laughs> offering Mahomes that, um, recently I was listening to another podcast where the host was uh, discussing how annoyed it makes him when, this has nothing to do with sports, when uh, restaurants have house-made ketchup, 
and he was saying all he wants is the Heinz yeah. 57. He doesn't want your housemate ketchup. And then he no. looked up how what Heinz 57 means. It means 57 varieties. And I was like, I don't think that there are 57 different types of ketchup or condiment in general. So I looked into it. The 57 varieties thing is a lie. It's a farce. It is a complete fake that they have made to trick all of you consumers. I'm disappointed. And it, they've been lying to people about this for a hundred years. Wow. Because Well, almost a hundred years. It's like 90 years. Because in the 30s, the, um, the Heinz guy, whose name I can't remember, something something Heinz. Heinz. He, I think his last name is Heinz, but... Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Sure. We'll, we'll call him Heinz Doofenshmirtz because that's... Not copyright I can't remember from Phineas and Ferb. Just he... Well, now that you mentioned a, Phineas and Ferb, that's also now it's copyright. copyright. It's not copyright. It's, it's not, just... No. It's, it's just, trademark. It's me talking. What's the difference between copyright and I, trademark? I have freedom of speech in this world. Good point. But then why do we have copyrights in general? Because people are self-centered and don't want people stealing their ideas. Oh, yeah, but I can understand why. That We're getting off topic again. We're still... Heinz 57 is a lie. The Heinz Doofenshmirtz guy is what we're going to call him. He, in the 1930s, was at some, like, convention. He was selling uh, pickles, actually. And he saw a shoe store that at their advertising said that they had 20 different varieties of shoes. And he was like, I could use that for my business. That's a really good idea. So he took his lucky number five and his wife's lucky number seven. Brilliant way to come up with the number. Oh, yeah. And created the branding of 57 different varieties, and it stuck. And what's, so they've been lying to us ever since. Oh, and what's your no lucky number? I don't know if I have a lucky number. I tend to wear number 11 if I can Perfect. for sports. And my lucky number is 41. So 4,111 variety of sandwiches are we going to have on this podcast? That's a lot of episodes. I should have saved that for the, uh, the, the, the segment that I can't say because Parker's not here, so who's going to say it? I going to trick you into saying it. I think I can say it. I tried saying it last week and I failed. You failed? Well, we were warming up our voices you're right, before you're right. we started recording, and Luke can say toy boat five toy times. Boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Fast, which is really impressive. It's almost impossible to do. So I Try it. And toy record yourself doing it, and then DM us and on DM Instagram. Us. Okay. Instagram. Oh, yes. Instagram. My favorite new app. If they're a sponsor, no. Um, we thank wish. you for reminding me of that because... We have a new favorite app. If you remember our one-year anniversary episode, episode 51, we live-streamed it on Instagram, and if you participated in the live-stream and asked a question, uh, we gave you a sticker with our logo on it. Um, and we still have plenty of stickers... Left, I would say we probably have about 70. And we don't need that many stickers. Uh, yeah, I'm not personally using that many stickers. I don't know about you guys. Um, so, yeah. if you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, we will give you a sticker. It's, based, it's the short and version. But the problem is, on YouTube, we cannot see all of our subscribers. It's weird, because... It only shows us the subscribers that have made themselves, that have made their subscription public. I don't know how to do that. So if you don't know how to make your subscription public, just DM us like a, a screenshot, screenshot or something. that yeah. shows that you're subscribed on YouTube. And we can see if you follow us on Instagram yeah. regardless. So those two things, DM us and we will get you an All Sports All The Time logo Because our sticker. stickers are amazing. Oh, like, they're, they're yes. beautiful. They're That's all they are. round. <laughs> Just like our circle on our it, logo. It literally is a logo. It fits mini, perfectly. And yeah. it goes like right here. You can put it on, oh, I was going to say you can put it on like your water bottle. That or works your too. You can put it on a water bottle, or, phone case. Um, you can get a yeah. clear phone case like mine and just like stick it right on there and make yeah, it Yeah, just like it. Luke did. Why did I put it on my phone case? What if I wanted to sell my phone case? Okay. Are Although you planning on selling your phone case at <laughs> no. home soon? No. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get into the the episode. That's, yeah, but but Wait, you oh, want to know what we no. have to do first. What? Turn on JG your phone Graybill. using Face ID. Oh, JG Graybill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well that's services. That's part of getting into the episode because we start off the episode by thanking our sponsors. Okay. One of our sponsors. Okay. Our top sponsor. Well, on that note, JG Graybill is a great plumbing team. 
they work to make your house and business and community and whatever you need to be plumbed. Really anything, a business needs plumbing, your house needs plumbing, literally anything, the entire just, community needs plumbing. They will give you whatever you need plumbing services wise as from like fixing a little leak in a pipe to hydronic heating. And it just, they are amazing. And if you want to check out what more they can do, you can go to jggravebuild.com and visit their website. A fantastic or, website. A very nice the link, website. The link to the website will be in uh, the description of the YouTube video or the podcast. If you're, if you're listening to this or you're watching it, it'll be in the description. You heard it here for, first. Just click on it. Yes. And if you want to give them a call to book an appointment or just to talk to someone... Call 717-768-3276 and you will get on the get be on a line with a very well respected JG Grable employee. And uh, oh, there's, oh. there's a special yes. a special uh, added bonus to not only do you get this fantastic But if you mention us, the great all sports all the time, you will receive twenty five dollars off of your entire purchase or service or whatever you do yeah. with them. However much you pay them However much to you do pay the thing that you do pay them to do. whatever you need them to do, you will receive $25 Less. off of that. And with that $25, you can buy a beautiful set of glassware for a kitchen. I think you didn't plan anything and you just grabbed a cup that was next to you. No, that was there. I just that there. I just put that there so that I could do that. Strategic? Okay. I don't yeah. believe you. I Samsung Lions that. update, they are 34 and 30, they are in 6th place. They did better than last week, last week they won one game. Last last week they scared oh, me, they brought it back this breaking week. Breaking news, only the top 5 teams oh, yeah. make it into the KBO playoffs. Yeah, we discovered right, this recently. <laughs> and we thought they were safe because they were in 6th place, and we thought, oh, that's great because... I assumed 6 teams made it in. But that is but, not yeah. true, it's only 5 so, Samsung Lions, we are hoping for you that you will make the playoffs, but step up your game. Come on. They've pretty much been locked in sixth are, place yeah. most of the they season. They are very, very close to their fifth so, place contender, yes. their current fifth place contender, who has 33 wins and 29 losses, as the uh, Samsung Lions are 34 and 30. I mean, it's a very, very close standing. Winning so percentages. Winning percentages. Matter. They do. So I feel it is very, very close, and we can do this. We just got to clinch some wins this week, and they got to get some losses. I think we have to find out if the Sam. First of all, we have to find out if the Samsung Lions have a catchphrase, or like a team motto. And if they don't, we have to make one for them that we can say whenever, like as an encouragement to like. We are better to instead of just like go Lions, because that's kind of boring. The Lions will stomp on your flesh and eat you. There you go. I'm titling this episode that. That's what I'm titling it. I got you. Yeah. So, Samsung Lions, please make that playoff I mean, push. the clickbait. Let's get Is it. The fifth opposite place. of clickbait. Because like, do people um, really want to see that? I don't know if they assume they would see it. I, think I hope they would not. Just You're be, not going to see that at all. I think please they would just be curious just about just why be, we were talking. It's about just what that. the Samsung Lions are going to do to their opponents. I mean, yeah. Obviously. How could, yeah. how could you take that any other way exactly. than we're talking about the Samsung Lions? I don't know. Obviously. So yeah, Samsung Lions, let's make a playoff push, baby. Um, please get into fifth place. We're all rooting for you. All of us here at All Sports all the time. Yes, we are. Um, we're, we're here for you in America. So even if there's <clears throat> other people in Korea who might actually have been rooting for the team... For years, we are long-time, five-month-old fans with yes. a burning passion Here, for the I've Samsung Lions an, I've got an push. analogy for you guys. Oh, boy. Analogy time with Luke. The Samsung Lions are the Philadelphia Eagles, as any other team in the KBO is the Cowboys. Don't the Cowboys and Eagles, over the last, like, four years, haven't they always just split their season series? No, I meant as rivals, like rivalry. Oh. Rivals. Like, we don't like any other team in the KBO, yeah, 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 but yeah. we do like the same song. Not stat wise. Mm -hmm. Not everything is about stats and I, stuff. I mean, well, okay. It's not all numbers. I thought Sometimes this was a complete feelings. analogy as no, like how no, good no, they are. No, no, no. no. I thought These it are was. feelings from the heart. Okay, I thought you were relating them to like the Samsung Lions are 
as good as the Eagles are, and the other teams are as good as the Cowboys. And I was like, well, I the said. Cowboys are actually really good. So, well, I'm they're sorry. not really good. They're good for the NFC East, but yeah. they're not really good. They could be really good. We'll get into be. this in like a month. With I, I think the Cowboys are going to be better than the Eagles this year. Yes, I said it. Um, let's get as far away from that sentence as we possibly can. With the. I thought I thought uh, you were sweet spicy super salty sandwich segment. I messed that up. Sweet spicy salty super sandwich segment. There we uh, go. I thought it was signed the first time, but yeah. So um, obviously sponsored by our, sp- our our second sponsor <laughs> at L of Eats. Sponsored our by our Instagram second is right here. Can you put Instagrams in the description? I could. Put, I'll s- I don't know if it'll be a link, but it'll be a tag and I'll can look up. I'll put a tag Instagram. in the. Instagram. But make sure you make sure you in the uh, description. Look up her Instagram. Yes. Look at all the delicious foods that she posts on there. They're very good. I've had yeah. a lot of them. And I've had a follow. Couple. They are very good. Like her posts. Comment. Mm-hmm. Very delicious food. Comment that All Sports All the Time sent you there. Yeah. I mean, do whatever. but Just, just so that she knows. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's support from all angles. Yes. Uh, even from a weird sports podcast. Um, but back to our sandwich for this week. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, if I oh. can't put the, if I can't like at her in the description, I'll just we'll just tell you guys. So yes. what you do is you turn on your phone, you go to the Instagram yes. app. I'm I'm gonna do it as with Luke is demonstrating. You turn on your phone. You unlock your phone. You yes. You go to when you, you find the Instagram app on your phone. You click on said app. What on earth is that? And then okay. you go you. Yeah, you go to the home page, and then you click on the magnifying glass, which is also used to search. And then you type in E-L-L-O-V-E, and then it should come up. You will then, see If L-O-V-E's. you can see my phone. It, I doubt they can, but I'm But look I'm at all describing. those delicious foods. Like, yes. That is and then you click on it, and then you can see all the food. Boom. That is right there. You've got yourself a nice cold smoothie. And it's like and it 95 healthy. degrees outside today when we're recording this. That so looks healthy, you're but making, it also looks delicious. Like You're making me really hungry right the now. The worst part, well, good thing we have a sandwich. I can't wait to eat this sandwich. The, good, the best part about that smoothie, sometimes when you like make a smoothie and you put some spinach in it and you think, I'm going to be healthy today, then it turns a dark puke looking green and it's like, what did I just do to my life? But that smoothie right there, it was like bright green, which is like looks so much more appetizing than a dark puke green smoothie. Am I right? Question, when you puke, it's dark green? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, I but was like, a little concerned there. I was like, I've never puked, and it's a dark green. But you know how, like, It's a disgusting looking like color. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like... It's a very disgusting At least, color. yeah. For a, a smoothie, yeah, okay. That was a visual I did not need. Puke right before we're about to eat food. But, here goes, which half do you want? Um, Luke. let's take the half so, closer to me. Backstory, last week, Luke if presented you watched last week, a well, sandwich. Man, if you would have watched last week. Yeah, go back and check that if you haven't. So, uh, Luke watched, Luke watched, no, Luke presented a sandwich last week, and it was mayonnaise and potato chip. And I, I was do. listening afterwards, because I was on vacation, and I was like, that sounds disgusting. What? No, it's good. So I tried it, and it was disgusting. No, it's not. You guys gotta try it. It was. It was. Okay, it was not. I, we're gonna settle this on Instagram. I'm gonna put up a poll on Instagram. But you guys can't. You guys gotta try. You, you have to go try both. Sounds. You guys have to try both because and not, then because some things sound disgusting. Like like escargot sounds disgusting, but it's very good. It's a snail. It's good. I think snail sounds more disgusting than escargot. Escargot improves the sound. Of <laughs> Fine. But it's snail sounds disgusting, but it's delicious. But it's good. Uh, I guess the same with like squid. Anyway, squid is so good. I've that. never had Calamari. squid, but I've been told it's good. So, I tried it, it was disgusting. No, you guys have to try both. Yes. You can only try Doesn't both. Doesn't take a lot of time. Before. You just gotta, it takes two, literally two pieces of bread. And, well, this, okay. Well, if you're making half a sandwich, it only takes two pieces of bread. Yeah, we have half a sandwich. Well, technically, it's one piece, because you could take one piece and fold it. No, I know, that's why it takes two pieces of bread. You gotta make two sandwiches. Why? One mayonnaise. Oh, one I got See, it. Think I'm, ahead. Sorry, think ahead. that is my bad. Yeah, so. Can we eat this? I'm this is a, I really want to eat it. This is a peanut butter and potato chip sandwich. Last week, Luke presented a potato chip and mayonnaise yes, sandwich. Please try both of them. 
I will die on this hill that this sandwich is way better. So go vote on that poll uh, after you have tried Please. both. This is the peanut butter and potato chip sandwich. So much better than the uh, the mayonnaise and potato chip. Not even close, blows it out of the water. It's not bad, but I prefer mine. This one's very like dry almost. Like between the bread and potato chips and like the mayonnaise really like lightened it up. But like, I feel like the peanut butter just like makes it harder to eat. I understand that point, but this tastes so much better because mayonnaise and potato chips, the mayonnaise makes the potato chips like kind of soggy. You have to eat, if you're gonna do the mayonnaise and potato chips, it has to be fresh because the mayo will kind of like soak into the potatoes, the, the chips eventually. Not what you want. Um, but that's why you eat it right after you make it. Which, yeah. It happened with Parker's, uh, like Pringles chicken. Mm -hmm. It soaked into the chips. Yeah, and it destroyed the And then the they crunchy. weren't crunchy. Yeah. But, we're both biased. So, go try both of these. Let us know which sandwich is better. It's obviously the peanut butter one. But, um, yeah, let us, let us know which one is better. Well, actually, if it's ever a tie, we should have Ella decide as the authority around here on food. Although neither of them are healthy, so. We'll ask her which one. This one has to be healthier. Because peanut butter is healthier than mayo. Ha ah! ha! It is, but that doesn't make it. Small victories. I'll take over whatever I can get. No. So we have to come up with a uh, player that describes this. I would say that the player that we come up with has to, uh, dry. like yeah. this sandwich, be able to perform in crunch time. But it's somewhat dry when it comes to the personality. So I'm gonna get a laugh out of that crunch time joke. It was a fail. No. Um, a bit dry, but performs in crunch time. That would be Eli Manning. But we've already done Eli. <laughs> we did Eli for like the first one. Who else is dry, but performs in crunch time? It's Nick it's, Foles. Yes. I mean, this I really don't. I really don't understand the guy. Is the like, Nick Foles? I really don't understand the guy much. He's just kind of there, almost like mm -hmm. you don't understand him. And then he comes out and wins the and Super Bowl amazing. for the Eagles. Just like the sandwich is amazing. And and the people that like him are very loyal to him, like the Eagles fans that think that. He should be playing instead of Wentz, which is insane, but yeah, like me, where I'm a passionate advocate and I'm willing to die on this hill that this sandwich is better. The Nick Foles, everyone. We've been leaning on Philly athletes recently. Because we know them best. That's true. We had the Jalen Mills, the JJ Redick, the Nick Foles, the last three. But can you blame us? There are teams. Why not? We could start a restaurant in Philly with these. We these totally names. could. Although I don't know if the JJ Reddick would fly because he's not here anymore. But. But if we had to change the name every time a Philly athlete left, like that's true. we'd be changing many names. All right. Sorry, I had. I had food in my mouth. Exactly. Peanut butter makes my mouth dry. Boom. I mayo is stuff. Mayo is better. Problem solved. With mayonnaise, potato chip, you don't have to do that. Yeah, but it's mayo and potato chips. So? Yeah. Like, I could... It's good. Theoretically, I could mix water and potato chips. And well, it that would make good. my mouth dry. Exactly. And it wouldn't make mayonnaise my mouth dry. Mayonnaise is not water. <laughs> but it doesn't go with potato chips. Yes, it does. Did you, have you ever dipped a french fry in mayonnaise? We're gonna let you guys decide this. Actually, no, I haven't. It is delicious. Can't say I would agree. I do if I had never tried it. 
<laughs> you just agreed with something you just said. Exactly. Amazing. That's actually really, that's Luke just epitomized sports talk, like debate shows, like first take, yeah. agreeing with your own statement is basically what. Who doesn't agree with themselves on the debate? Did. Yeah. If you can't agree with yourself, then you know you're wrong. <laughs> That's, yes, yes. Exactly. Quote of the week. If you can't agree with yourself, you know you're wrong. <laughs> you have the quote of the week every time. You would think it would be Parker. You would. But Parker says, like, stuff that's so ridiculous, it doesn't... Qualify. Quite, yeah. It's more Parker logic. You have the quotes, is what it is. Would you like to uh, transition us to the next segment? Because you ate your sandwich faster than I did. I did. And that would lead us into debut or false. I don't know how that leads us into debut or false, but it, it works. Or just You just kind of filibuster and you talk about the segment and whatnot. Well, I know how to segue. It's just so hard to segue when you're talking about peanut butter and then you have to get a debut or false. Because peanut butter debuted in early 1900s. Just kidding. It's probably been around longer than that. But that'll lead us into debut or false, where we give players and we have to say if they debuted or if that is false and they debuted at a different time. After you say debut for a while, it just sounds really weird. It's one of those words that if you say it multiple times, it just sounds really odd. Yeah, there's a lot of those out there. Okay, but I will go first this week. After I pull up my list. Okay, so today is National Strawberry Rhubarb Wine Day or something like that. So how did you connect this to athletes? <laughs> so in honor of National Strawberry Rhubarb Wine Day, I did the best pro athletes that were redheads. Wow. Great connection. I'm interested in this one. Starting off with the wonderful, legendary Mark McGuire. Mm. The date, 1986. It's not really a date, that's only a year, but. False. He was on the Bash, he was part of the Bash Brothers A's with Jose Canseco, and they made it to the World Series in 89. And I don't think McGuire had been playing for three years at that point. I think he debuted in like 87. That is false. He debuted in 86. So, ah, the actual so it is true. It is it's true, debut. but you were false. My statement was false. Exactly. He debuted in 86 with the... The A's. A's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, okay, next up, we've got Mr. Sean White, 2002. Oh, Sean White debuted when he was really young. 2002 makes sense. I'll say debut. That's false. He debuted in 2003. Jeez. Oh, and two. Oh, you were close. It was 2003. Yeah. Kind of made it a little challenging. Next, we've got Sean Avery. A lot of Sean's today. The year 2000. Debut. That is correct. Now, fun fact for you all. I was going to do Bill Walton, because Bill Walton was a redhead in his young days. He was. Which... No more. It looked really weird, I'm going to say that, for the least. But... But we did Bill Walton last week. Parker kind of stole him out of the water, so I'm just gonna kind of leave him there. Stole him out of the water? Like a fish? Like if you're fishing, you steal the fish out of the water from the person fishing next to you. That could be a weird name phrase. I've never heard of that. I don't know if it's real, but I just said it. it. it the explanation sounded good. It, it so was. We'll go with it. I was. <laughs> Finally, we've got Dennis Johnson, mm. 1976. I don't know who Dennis Johnson is, so I'm going to say debut. That is true. You went Let's go. four for four. No, Wait, I no didn't. you did it. You I went, went two and two. No, you went two and two. I got the first two wrong. That's right. I thought he did good. <laughs> wow. Luke was so impressed with my performance. I was. Wow. I, I was what very I impressed. Now time for me to be impressive. Yes, you did. We were on almost the same wavelength. You did red heads. I did red skins. Yeah. Not close. people who actually had red skin, but like no. the red... The red Redskins okay. players. Like former, the football team that's changing their name. The Washington team's former players. The Washington when, Washers. When they were called. The, the Washington the Washers. Redskins. And the Cleveland Cats. If you don't get that, go back two episodes. Yes. Doug Williams. It's literally titled Cleveland Cats, so you yep. can't miss it. Yeah. Sorry. Doug Williams, 1978. I feel like... I think I over, I feel like I overthink it sometimes. So after you say it, I'm just gonna go for it and answer and just like totally just go for it whether I'm right or not. I feel like you say that every time and then you Did don't you? do it. That's true. See. Although I talked for a little bit. 
Yeah. Uh, Daryl Green, 1983. False. Oh, it was close. I was he close. He debuted in 1983. Joe Theismann, 1970. Debut. 74. This is what I'm going to get right. Kirk Cousins, 2012. Ooh. Debut. We both went two and two. See, you guys, I feel like Parker uses too much logic, although for some reason it always works. I love his it. Locker, logic. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's and you actually know stuff. Half the time I don't know it, so I just guess. But I feel like I just got to say something because I feel like I'm going to say think something and then say the opposite of what I think and then it's going to be wrong. So. And we all end up at the same place. Exactly. Two and two. Right near 500. Speaking so. of the number 22, some players wear the number 22. What and, a transition. And and when players wear the number 22, you know what that means. They're Christian the game. McCaffrey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we play the game. What's your number? That too. Name as many players as you can that wear number 22 right now. Go. Christian McCaffrey. Christian Yelich. It's great for him. <laughs> all the Christians. Was, all was, the Christians out there. I wanted to see how long we can be quiet. I was like, well, I guess I should give one. And then it yeah. Let me get this plate. By the way, would you like to go first, Luke? Sure. Or should I? We'll, we'll we'll go back and forth. I'll give one, you give one. We'll okay. do four. Okay. Four or five. How many you want to Let's do? Let's do five. Five. Okay. So in honor of I don't know what this is in honor of, but I just did I did NFL punters because that seems more challenging and Owen's good at this game. So I'm gonna start off with the I easy don't one. know any punters. I'm gonna start off with an easy one. Except for the you, Eagles. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna start Corey off. Corey Johnson, number one. Give it to me, baby. Fine, fine. Yes, you Let's got go. It. You got it. But that's, <laughs> that's it. That's the only one I'm gonna get. There's no way I'll get any of these other ones. Okay. Go ahead. Let's I'll count that one because I'm nice. What did, wait, what did you, you even do? I need to know what you did. Oh, I did, um, I'm doing lower tier starting quarterbacks. These okay. guys aren't the stars. Yes. But they're, they're good enough to be a starter. They're okay. Yes, that is very true. All right. Sam Darnold. He's number 13. Oh, so close. He's number 14. I was so close. I was very close. Mm-hmm. Kid. Mm. At least you weren't trying to use Siri. <coughs> Parker. We're basically <laughs> just taking shots at Parker constantly. Seriously. This. I hope you're listening, Parker. Please come back next week. We need you. Okay, edit this part out. These, these names mm. don't seem right. Are these names right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any punters. How would they not be right? Did you find like a fake website? I don't know, are no, because not, it says it's ESPN. ESPN's usually right. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll check. Yeah, no, it's not numbers. It, you don't see any numbers. The, I have to click on them. It's just... Because, like, I know all these last names look right. The first names don't look right. Oh, I know that Sam Cook is the Ravens punter. Maybe they are right. I know that. Okay, uh, just go. Sure. If the, if the names are right, it's not my fault. It's the website's fault. I don't know, man. The, I, the two names that I saw that I knew were correct. I okay. have never heard of any of the rest of them, so I have no way of knowing. That's how we're obscure gonna go punters are. with the New England Patriots and their punter. I don't even know. Jake Bailey. Um, Jake Bailey, one of the best punters in the league. He's a uh, young up-and-comer. Uh, should be on the team for a while. I think he's actually due for a new contract, uh, but he wears number three. That is not correct. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm saying. <laughs> he wears number seven. Oh, okay. All right. I'm disappointed. I don't think I've ever seen a punter wearing double digits, so that helps me. But that's it. Uh, let's do Jared Goff. Some could argue he's a little bit better than a lower tier quarterback, but I wouldn't say he's a superstar. I'm going to say number seven. So. Uh, you're going to be incorrect because he wears number 16. I wasn't even close. No. Back to the punters, whose names are probably correct, but we have no way of knowing because nobody knows who they are. Um, Luke okay. can't seem to choose one. No, I can't. Even though there's 
Doesn't Hunter really matter. for the Cardinals. I won't get it Andy anyway. Lee. What? Um, Andy Lee. He uh, he seems like a number one type of guy. Also, no. Him and Corey Johnson. No, just no. no. What's he? What is he? Number four. Mm, I can't believe I got that wrong. I'm so upset with myself. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. Um, I don't think rubbing your cheek against the <laughs> mic will help you get this right. Number 12. He's number 5. You're getting farther and farther away with every single one you answer. Just saying. Just just help a little tip. Yeah. You're getting more wrong as you go. Riley Dixon. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of getting more wrong as you go. Plays for the New York Giants. Oh, wait. Have I seen... Oh, he's the... Is he the jacked one? No, that's their kicker. Their no. kicker is Eldrick no. Rosas. He looks very scrawny. Who wears... No <laughs> offense. He they, looks all very the scrawny. Do. The Giants kicker, Eldrick Rosas, wears number two, and he's jacked for a kicker. Uh, so it's not number two. I've seen the Giants punt a lot against the Eagles, <laughs> so you would think I should know this. I think it's either six or nine. I'm gonna go with six. You should have stuck with nine. No! He is number nine. Come on! Ah, oh, that is disappointing. Man, I can't believe I don't know the Giants punter's number. How do I even deserve to have a podcast? <laughs> That's ridiculous, really. Ridiculous. Um, Especially when you title it sports. Yeah, all sports all the time. Apparently not. Although, ever since we started the podcast, it's been drifting. It's been less sports, less of the time. It's still majority sports, majority yeah. of the time. But we still include our headlines when there are headlines, uh, but there's not headlines right now. But I mean, we never went into it expecting to do all sports 100% of the time, because that's ridiculous. Because Parker there's, was part of it. There's no way that's, you well, do that. Parker was part of it. We couldn't expect <laughs> to do all sports all the time. Well, I mean, with anybody, but yes. Yes. That, yes. Th that does help. But and if we having... just did straight sports all the time, you guys wouldn't listen. There's, that's no content. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's good to it, hear about sports. It gets like, boring. After it, it's a while. boring. You just gotta. You want to hear. And the, you can't the... name a podcast sports most of the time because that's a terrible that name. Terrible. Yeah. What kind of a name is that? And you can't name it. What okay. They, you can't. We couldn't name it what like actual sports shows are Bring called. Bring it back in. Because it's literally just like the person's last name show. Or, like, their full name show. Like, the Lap Wolf Paglia show. I'm like, it's, yeah. Like, all the all of the ESPN shows. The Will Kane show. It's the Will Kane show. The Mike Greenberg show. The Dan Leppard show. Golick and Wingo. Exactly. The Stephen A. Smith show. Although, that's like, not anymore. But it's like, yeah, they're not yeah, exactly. creative at all. The most creative name is Sports Center. <laughs> that's the most creative name. Or ESPN. So, well, okay. But, yeah, I would say all sports all the time is yeah. the most creative thing we can come up with without using, like, our names. Yes. Speaking of names, Matthew Stafford has a name. Yes, he does. And he also has a number. Which is number 17. What is his number? Uh, no, you also should have guessed 9 like I did, because he wears number 9. Last one for each of us. If I get this right, Ooh. I will automatically beat Luke. Guessing punters... Okay, this is like the lowest level punter you can get. He oh plays boy. for the Bengals. Mm. Kevin Huber. What a great job. The punter for the Bengals. Actually, no, he probably gets to do it a lot. So it's okay. a great oh, job. Actually, good point. Good point. It's better than being the punter for the Chiefs. Although I guess you would have won a Super Bowl. So that's pretty good. Being the punter for the 49ers. Yes, be, that would be terrible. That would be a pretty bad one. Um... Man, the Ravens. I'm gonna say, well, the Ravens have Sam Cook, and he's really yeah. good. So, so go ahead. He made it work. Um, oh, you just bumped the table, Luke. You bumped it again. Guys, okay, there's an earthquake. Luke's just gonna keep bumping it. Uh, I don't know. He's number two. No, he's number ten. He's okay. a double digit punter. Wow, a rare Same. double digit punter. You said you punter. never found one. What a rare breed. I had no idea. <laughs> a rare breed. I had no clue that existed. Um, let's see here. Philip Rivers. He is number seven. He's number seventeen. I was close. He was on my fantasy team for a while. And you still didn't get it. Keep an eye out for 
fantasy football talk very soon. Yes. Because, because I've got fantasy football. It is coming up, and I'm so excited because I need sports. Yeah, we, we all need sports at this point. And I'm the league manager of our yes, league. Yes, So I've already got it on the mind because we're trying to set speaking up draft of, and stuff. Yeah, and speaking of fantasy whatnot, football, that'll lead us into our final segment, the weird name game. How so? Because football deals with sports, and the weird name game, we always pick a name a, a, a name from a sport. There you go. My weird term is uh, from lacrosse, which could kind of be similar to football, because you wear a helmet. And pads. Yeah. And go there's ahead. a ball. And a grass and field. Side lines and sidelines. Yeah. And you run. And hit and, people. And goals, except there's like no goals. areas there's where ball. you score. Areas there were where so you many score. things you could have said other than goals. <laughs> areas where you <laughs> score. <laughs> area where you score. Okay. Because you in the area where you score. And like, passing. Yes, passing. And defense. You could have said those things <laughs> instead of goals. And outside. <laughs> Alright, we're going to move on from that bit to uh, my word for oh, lacrosse. Right. It is the Baltimore Crab. What is a Baltimore Crab in lacrosse? It's a type of stick. Like... Like it's a not not like a type, but like a make of a stick. Like in baseball, you've got a catcher's mitt and an outfielder's glove and uh, like an infielder's glove and a I guess yeah and like you've got all these first base mitt. Like you've got all these different types of glove, but they're all a glove. They're just different makes of that glove. Like that's what a Boston crab mm -hmm. thing is. Baltimore crab. Baltimore. What what position would use a Baltimore crab hypothetically? I don't know. I don't know the positions. Like a. A forward? Like the people who score the ball? Mm. Uh, no. Not even. Then why'd you ask me what <laughs> position? Because <laughs> I wanted you to think you were close. A Baltimore crab is a method of picking up a ball by rolling the top inside of the scoop over the ball. I've done that! Starting it in that direction while turning the head under the ball quickly. So oh, I haven't done that. As to collect it in one motion. I haven't done that. Native Americans used this style of pickup, given that their sticks had no scoops. I don't know what I just said. I can't envision that. You pick the ball up by rolling the top inside of the scoop over the ball. And so the ball's here, yeah. you're rolling it over. <clears throat> what does over it mean? Like that? Like you're going maybe, to I think maybe ball. you're pulling it like, like that. Oh, starting it moving in that direction yeah. while turning the head. Yeah, so it's so that it like just it's like flips like in and it's that. Like perfect. Okay, that it's, makes sense. We're not lacrosse players. That's a Baltimore crab. Baby. If any of you lo uh, lacrosse players over there can do that, like take a video of yourself yes. doing that. Please and, demonstrate and it. And send it to us because to us. we How would you really that? love to see that. Yes. And also we just kind of want to interact with people because we... Yeah, we don't. We That's kind of half the half point the, of this is yeah. to entertain people so if we can yeah. interact with anyone watching this yeah. that would be great and also we have I can kind of envision it but yeah, if yeah, I figure a lacrosse player would understand yeah. it better so let's now, move on to Luke's now as you heard last week I found a new website and it was just you did. particularly running which so, concerns me because <clears throat> I don't know any of the although I did know the beer mile I was listening and I was like oh I know what that is so good thing you weren't there that gave me hope so this one is a Garmin brag yeah, don't know what that is. Do right. you have any idea? Garmin? One word or two? two? One. One word, Garmin brag. Does it have anything to do with running in Germany? It sounds like a German word. I don't know, does it? Mm, very helpful. Um, Garmin brag. Ah, uh, jeez. Is it a, oh, a, is it a noun, a verb, or an adjective? <laughs> A noun. It's a noun? Oh man. I was thinking it was a verb. A Garmin brag is when... Don't ask me for the language of origin because I do not know that. <laughs> I still think it's German. Um, oh jeez. Okay. Garmin sounds kind of like Garmin. I'm going to just talk myself through this. Yes. Garmin sounds like Garmin. Bragging means that you uh, are thinking that you're better than somebody else. Which means you think you're number one, and so technically a garment, the pieces of paper that they wear with numbers on yeah. them, 
could be considered a garment because you're wearing it. Yeah. So it's when you get the number one on your paper thing. <laughs> no. I feel like that logically made sense. <laughs> no. I felt good Not about that. Close. A garment brag? Well, yeah, yeah no, no, no. A garment brag? <laughs> he tried to. He tried to think of like try to help me be like, well, you were kind of close, Owen, and then he was like, no, no, there's no way. You were terrible. A Garmin brag is a photograph of a GPS watch face upload to Facebook. So like when you run and you have like, you ran like three miles and your time was blah 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 and like it's on your watch face like you recorded on your watch. Why is it called a Garmin brag? I'm not done yet. And that's when you like take a picture of that and upload it to Facebook because actually typing how far or how fast you ran would be narcissistic. But where does the Garmin part come from? Wouldn't that just be bragging? It's No, it's not. It's not saying, oh, here's a picture, because I did better. It's a, it's just you posting it, a picture of it, instead of writing it, because writing it would be narcissistic. Mm. So it's like a subtle brag. I guess. It's kind of... But it's, it's like not brag. Gar- it's, it's not a- Garmin. You're, consi- you're, it's- you're convincing yourself that it's Garmin to brag. It's Garmin. Oh, no. G-A-R-M-I-N. I- yeah, but what does, I'm gonna, what does Garmin have to do with any of this? I don't know. Gar- it's literally one word. Garmin. When you Google the word Garmin, it means... It took me to a website. Garmin International. Explore all of our wrist-worn devices. Devices? What are devices? Devices. A okay. Garmin is so, a brand of watch. Got it. Not okay. a sponsor. But wait. Now I get it. Not a sponsor. but It's a brand. That's, that's why. Starbucks. Okay, so you're bragging about how you... Okay, okay. How your watch yes. tracked? Got it. Yes, I got it now. Man, okay. If oh, I had known what yeah, Garmin a wrist was, Garmin? have you ever heard this. of like a wrist Garmin? Until I, now, no. I don't know if that's a thing. I feel like I've heard of it, but I could have just totally made that up. Okay. I don't know. Garmin brag. Got it. Yeah. I think after this, I should go on like the shortest. I should turn on like a uh, just some like tracking for my run. Down, like download an app, track myself running like. I don't know, 20 feet, and then, and then post it. it on the Instagram with <laughs> hashtag Garmin brag. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do that. I'm. It'll probably be up by the time you guys listen to this, because it takes much longer to put up a podcast than to do what yes. I just said. But on the, yes. on the podcast Instagram, there will be Garmin bragging. Yes, there will. Not on my Instagram. That would be weird, because I don't really... I'm not a runner, so it would be weird if I just randomly posted a Garmin yeah. brag. Um, also, nobody would care. Yeah. Anyway, so. Transition! Well, J.G. Grable. Yes. Because everybody cares about good plumbing. Yes, that is true. And uh, once J.G. Grable is done helping you, you could take a picture of, like, a before and after where it's, like, before my toilet didn't work and now, now it, it does, does because and then you can garmin brag about it uh by running on it with a watch you... yeah that was a weird transition anyway <laughs> more than covid <laughs> jeez okay for more than 15 years jg grable has proven to its loyal and valued customers that That's quality workmanship it's like my still whole life exists plus more that is basically your whole life plus more i thought you were 15 yeah but it said more than oh for more than 15 years yeah yeah life plus more yeah i'm literally looking at it and you read it better than i did quality workmanship still exists yes it does jg grable will always get the job done they will for you no matter what the job is whether it is Hydronic heating, not hydraulic heating. No, hydronic. Because I don't think that's a thing. Why are you pointing at me? You're the one that said it. I t- no, I was pointing at you because you were the one that corrected, corrected me. Yes, I get you. Saying now. whether it's residential work, remodeling, or commercial work, they will do it for you. And they will do it well. They will. They are very the quality and workmanship. Exactly. That's what quality workmanship They don't means. work for quantity. They work, and they work for quality because they are good people. Yeah. And speaking of quality, we have a quality discount for you guys. Because that is true. if you mention all sports all the time, when you contact them by going to www.jggrable.com or calling them at 717-768-3276, you will get $25, 25 whole dollar bills 
off of your. I don't think you'll get twenty five dollar bill. I mean, maybe, maybe you will get twenty five one dollar bills. That's could. possible. I think it'll just Wait, no, when they give you that like paper thing yeah, after they're done. Just, I think it'll just, just say like giving them a visual description in mind. But sure, keep that visual. But in listen, your head. with that twenty five dollars that you save by using all sports all the time or mentioning all sports all the time when you use JG Graybill, you can buy a lot of bananas. Like, I mean, this like is probably like more than this because this is probably only worth like three but dollars. Although so I don't you, grocery shop, so I'm not sure how much. You could buy. Let's say you could buy about eight Five. bunches of bananas. Like that's a lot of bananas, and then you're set. You can you can eat some. You can make banana bread. You can make banana muffins. You can make banana pie. You can make banana cookies. You can make banana ice cream. You can freeze bananas. You can mm -hmm. can bananas. You can do whatever you, you can make banana jam. You could use one of Bella Eats list. recipes that includes I'm bananas. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure she has recipes. Let's then. find one. We're gonna we're gonna do you this. You continue talking I'll right find now. One. I will filibuster a really just talking about nothing while Luke tries to find an Ella of Eats recipe by going to at Ella of Eats. Boom! I literally Instagram. just opened. That was so I easy. I literally just opened her Instagram immediately. What's the recipe that includes bananas? It is a peanut butter and banana stuffed French toast with a coconut whipped cream. I'm so hungry. That sounds amazing. I think we should go have that. That right sounds now. very, very delicious. So you can get a bunch of bananas and go make that. Yes, but you have to a follow her on times. Instagram first. You, yeah, to be able to find that recipe exactly. to use the bananas. So here's the process that you have to do to have that French toast. No, we're not going through it again. You have to contact AG Grable. Oh, yes. Mention all sports all the time. Freeze up those $25 that you wouldn't have otherwise. Go buy the bananas. Follow Ella Vitz on Instagram. And make banana And jam. then make the banana French toast. It's really simple. It really, really. is. Like, it's not it that complicated, It literally takes guys. like a total of like it's so easy. maybe 20 minutes. I mean... It depends on how far away your grocery store is. Yeah. Unless you grow bananas, but I have a banana tree. That would be an easy way to do that. Do if you, anyone has a banana tree, if you have a banana tree, DM <laughs> us. Take a picture of it. I've never seen one, and I really want to. Oh, okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> Parker, if you're still listening, congrats. If any of you are still listening, <laughs> thank you. To those we, of you that are you still guys here. You are loyal to us, and we appreciate it. If that. you're still here, I assume you're loyal. And if you're really that loyal, again, DM us. Like, we've, we've said that a million times. Yeah. But you can also... Um, Subscribe to us on YouTube for the sticker. Let us know about that. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. And uh, if you go to Apple Podcasts, even if you're watching on YouTube, you can find us on Apple Podcasts. That is true. Obviously, all sports all the time. And if you have not uh, reviewed the podcast yet, do please that. do. Five because stars. that, it turns out that that helps a lot with, like, getting it out there for yeah. people to... Uh, notice we currently have a four and a half out of five star. Probably five stars, but I mean, yeah, so we're trying an honest to, opinion. We're trying I mean, to get the average of like, don't just to five. Don't just mush it up because we told you to. Give us no, your honest opinion. Don't let, we, no, give us a five star review, even if you think it's bad. Don't listen to Luke. No, but we want to know how we can make nope, it better. Nope, five star. Give it. Give us five stars, but in the review, oh, yes, say yes. how we can make it yes. better. Yes, give us five stars, but in the review, say, yeah. say what we can do to make it better. Give five stars, are, and then say this podcast are, would be always, a five-star podcast. We are always if looking for ways to make it better. Yes. New segments, new... Any ideas that you Sandwiches. Guys have, if you have a sandwich idea that you yes. want to send us, we'd, be, we'd love to try it. Like, yeah. literally anything that you guys want, we You are. keep shaking Just, the table, man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> anything that you guys want, we are willing to yes. try and do for you guys. So please go to Apple Podcasts, rate, review. I think the rate rate the rate part of it is the stars. Review is what you write. Yeah. So rate five stars, and then you can review whatever you want. Give us your ideas yeah. and stuff. Five stars. Uh, we have all five star reviews except for one one star review, which is dragging it down. There's always going to be some of those. It's just we got to have those five stars outweigh yes. it to... Uh, mm. Take them down and yes, make them feel that worthless. Is very true. That was a little harsh. That was terrible. <laughs> if you're one okay. of the, if you were the one, <laughs> one star review, we apologize for Owen's harshness. He just gets a little aggressive when he gets angry. Yeah, it just makes me so upset that <laughs> not everyone. No, I'm fine no, with the one, no, one yeah, star we're around. review. We're just we're trying to grow the podcast, and the reviews really help. That was basically all I was trying to say over that yeah. two minute period. 
Um, and is there anything else we want? No, I think well, that'll check do out JG Grable, Ella Beats. Yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. Videos every Wednesday on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So keep a look out. Hopefully, everybody, the whole crew will be back next week, vacationless. So see you guys then. Yeah. Bye. We nodded at the same time. That was nice.